everyone today I'm following up uh, from yesterday there was a problem with you seeing the uh, spreading part of the peripheral blood smear slide preparation so I'm gonna go ahead and start the staining video off with that so I need to get my diff safe device working well here there we go so there's there's my drop of blood that I'm gonna spread okay and I pull this slide and I go like that okay what I did was I spread the blood uh, across <clears throat> across the um, width of this slide and using this spreader here, the spreader slide. Really hope that you saw it. So we'll do it one more time and make sure that you get to see that. So here we go. One more time. That's a really big drop of blood and I'm not really going to use these slides. This one is drying, but you can go ahead and use it. So you can see it right there. So I'm letting the blood go across the slide to the edge. You shouldn't all go all the way to the edge, but it was a really big <laughs> drop of blood. I was trying to get it into view. So hopefully you just got two angles. Obviously this is not, where's my camera? This is not a good slide. This was a good slide uh, that I could use. Um, so I'm really just going to throw these away. So there, we got that part out of the way, just like I promised. So let's move on to the staining procedure itself. So we're going to do the manual uh, right game sustain. We have a setup um, that is on the um, side of the bottle we're using that uh, modified version and in a right game sustain it's a Romanowski stain and it's for peripheral blood and bone marrow smears and the most important <clears throat> parts of these stains are that you're using an oxidized methylene blue and an azure B and an Aosin Y stain so what's happening is the the methylene blue and the azer b stains are going to stain the nucleus a shade of blue or a blue to purple and <clears throat> that way you can use them to differentiate the or you can use the stain to make a diff smear and um, perform a white blood cell diff on there and look at the red cell uh, blood morphology so <clears throat> The Eosin Y dye part of the stain is used to stain the cytoplasm of the cells in orange to a pink color. So um, the red cells are naturally pink because of the hemoglobin or red because of the hemoglobin and the white cells don't have any color whatsoever. That's why they're called white cells because we use a white light and it shines through shines through the slide you see the red cells but you can't see the white because the white are clear <laughs> so we use these stains in order to see the morphology um, in the nucleus you have a an acidic um, component because of the um, the DNA right um, DNA the A is acids right um, and so we use a basic stain to stain that portion and then um, that's why we're able to see that. So whenever you, uh, whenever you use a stain, the stain is always the opposite pH that, of the component that you're trying to stain so that it'll come together. Okay, so what we have here is in the first one, we have the fix fixative and you set your... Um, your slide holder. So this has like 10 slides in it. Um, I did like 30 slides yesterday making that video, those videos. Um, 
So this holds like 10 in there. Um, I already put these two in the fixative so that they would air dry and you could, you could see the next phases on the video. Um, the great thing about this uh, setup is that this top is able to seal off the chamber so that you don't get fumes or splashes. And that's really great um, in all different sorts of uh, staining procedures because there are things that can be hazardous to your health um, with the vapors and you don't want to splash anywhere or transfer over. So this one's empty at the end. But I already dipped these uh, two sets into the fixative um, and I let them air dry. The fixative is for 30 seconds. One thing you want to be careful of is um, I had used a marker that I thought was a um, acid uh, resistant marker and it really kind of uh, faded there. So I went over and put everything in a pencil. So you probably just, every time you make a slide, whether it's micro or hematology, any kind of dyeing procedure, you absolutely just probably want to use pencil. That way you don't have to worry about um, whether your marker is for real resistant or not. Um, okay, so I just wanted to show you each part here. You're gonna need a, um, you're gonna need a timer here. So the first one I have, well, I did have set for 30 seconds, but it stopped. So we're going to set the first one for 30 seconds so I can do this new batch. Um, then we're going to have three minutes and six minutes. So two will be set for three minutes, and then three is going to be set for six minutes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to do the... Um, I'm gonna do the fixative first because that has to air dry. And so you can see what this looks like while you're doing multiples. All right, so um, all you're gonna do is you take your slide that you made and you put it into a slot that's open. So you all are probably very aware of how to do that, but I'm doing it in front of you anyway. Okay, just slide it in there, close it up so that it's a perfect T for Tiffany, like me. I know that's really that's really silly okay um, so I have all the steps in front of you um, listed on the tops and that's for your benefit so that you don't have to keep your procedure with your con with you constantly all right so we're gonna put this one in and you don't need to close the top you hit the first and you go all right the next one here I'm gonna put in the stain. It's a beautiful purple. We're gonna set go for that. So I don't know if you noticed, but the timer one goes with one. The timer two goes with two. Timer three goes with three. That's intentional, okay? Three was almost done, it was blinking. So I'm gonna take, or sorry, one, the 30 seconds, the fixative was almost done. So there we go. So bring it out. All right, it's going to air dry. You can see it's already wet there. And a little bit of blue is coming out from the marker. <laughs> um, so a great thing to remember, so we can just clear this now because I'm not going to use it again. A uh, great thing to remember here is that you don't want to um, start this last one here into the three minute one while you're in the six minute one, um, you know, until you're closer to the end of the six minutes because you wanna be able to immediately put this in from here, okay? So we're just going about and waiting. So we have uh, about a minute and 30 seconds on here. Um, again, I'm not gonna pull that in yet. So just to show you what one looks like after it's been fixed. It still looks like a, a blood smear, right? It hasn't gotten any stain on it yet. Um, what, what you're basically doing is just adhering the cells nicely to the, uh, the slide so that as you move through, it's not gonna you know, get washed away. All right, so I'm gonna pause this and come back when it's closer to the end. 
So we're at the very end here. We've got about 20 seconds more to go on there. Make sure that you're keeping in mind what batch is what and where it's been. <clears throat> 10 seconds. All right. So we're going to pull that guy out. Very, very, very prominent stain. Okay. It ends up staining everything and through everything. So you want to make sure that that's not getting on your clothes. All right. So we'll put that guy into here now and press start. So this is the stain and buffer diluent together. So a buffer um, keeps your uh, solution in a pH range that is desired. So that's what's happening here. We're keeping it in the desired pH to make sure that the cells are appropriately taking up <clears throat> the stain to wherever it is, whether it's the cytoplasm or the nucleus. So again, um, this is six minutes. I'm not gonna sit here and have you watch six minutes. So I'll pause it and be back. All right, so we're approaching that two minute mark um, into the one minute mark left on the six. So I'm going to go ahead and put my um, other one that has already air dried into the three minute stain. So we'll get that started as well. And that should give me time to move this one into the dips and then air dry again. All right, so the six minute one is almost done. I'll show you that. All right, so these last two are um, just DI water. You're dipping and then moving into the next one, dipping there, and then air drying after it comes out of this dip. Um, none of this uh, is forced with heat, um, so we're just slowly doing everything by air drying. So it does take, um, it does take a little bit of time, but you can batch a lot. All right. So 10 at a time. I like to tap um, just like um, the trichrome stain that you've seen me do. I like to tap the excess off because I don't, I try to keep every bit as clean as possible. All right. I just don't like the crossover of stain in there. At the beginning of every semester, I go through and make sure <clears throat> that the stain is nice and new so that you'll have a great experience and see wonderful morphology um, on your slides. So uh, these, this all is replaced. I actually cleaned out uh, most of these um, things before putting most of the chambers before putting more stain in there. So this is going to air dry. Um, the other one's in the process of air drying too to go through these steps, but you're not going to watch that one. All right, we've got five more seconds on this one. Okay, go to this one and reset. One, two, three, four, five, six. Start. All right, we have 30 seconds left on the six minute um, portion. Then we're gonna dip, dip and air dry. And uh, those, were, those will be the only two that you see on here. The next video that I'm going to make is um, interpreting the CBC results, and then we'll have one of going through and doing the smear reviews as well. So here we are. Okay, 
so we're ready to come out of this one like I said I like as little transfer as possible so it's nice to kind of tap them a little bit that's one dip this will get pretty messy too so you want to make sure that you change your paper towels if you choose to do it this way you don't have to um, dip them but I do really like to have a less trashy stain <laughs> and not have to constantly um, go through and change these if you are uh, just pushing this over into the dipping chambers you are going to have to go through and make sure to uh, change those all right more frequently <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching we'll catch you in the next video uh, hopefully where we're interpreting those uh, CBCs that we ran. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.